nice. We actually did as well. Oh, that was brilliant. Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo and we're back on CSGO trading at more skins from Zippel's case openings. We have some nice cheap and profitable ones today and then a bit of a risky one at the end. Every single skin we have has been unboxed by Zippo on his streams, I'll link his YouTube and his Twitch down below. Everything is worked out with Trade Up Spy, so you can check out the link for them in the description as well. Big thanks to Zippo for letting me do all these trade ups and I'll be back on stream tomorrow on my channel with a couple more and now let's get going. So the first one we're going to do is a nice simple 4 factory new 6 minimal wear split with Gamma and Breakout as the factory new skins and then Shattered Web and Broken Fang as the minimal wear ones. So for this we want to keep the average float below 0.07 and that's going to get us all of the outcomes into factory new and of course we're hoping to ideally hit the AK-47 rat rod from this in factory new but we also get a nice profit on the Orp Exoskeleton and on the Org Arctic Wolf alongside tiny profits on the R8 Reboot, the MP7 Neon Ply and the SSG-08 Parallax. There's some pretty much break-even losses in there too. The worst outcomes would be the breakout skins, but we can use those for trade-ups going forward. So even if we get them, it's still not too bad. So for the first one today, we're looking for a good start. And an Org Aristocrat from Gamma. So not ideal, not really what we want. <laughs> that is a loss outcome. Not one of the worst loss outcomes we could have got mined, but it is still a loss outcome. So that comes with, uh, it's factory new and there you go, comes with 0.4616 float, so a decent enough float there, um, and I think this is probably the cheapest of the Gamma skins that you can get in Factory New at the time that I recorded and checked all the prices for the pictures, so yeah, not a fantastic start, not the worst, but also definitely not the best, so hopefully we improve a little bit going forward and get a bit of better look with the next ones. The next one that we're going to do is one factory new 9 minimal wear split with Breakout as our sole factory new skin alongside 6 shattered web skins in minimal wear and then 3 skins from Broken Fang in minimal wear. So I'll get all of this thrown in for you. The P2000 Ivory is the one factory new skin that we've got from this and then all the rest of it is there. This is again just below 0.07 average for all factory new outcomes and again we either want the Rat Rod, the Exoskeleton or the Arctic Wolf. The other Shattered Web and Broken Fang loss outcomes aren't too much of a loss, and also those breakout skins will just be handy for future trade-ups if we do happen to get stung. So let's see how we do on this second one. Embargo Bison. So again, one of the Shattered Web outcomes, but it's like one of the worst ones, the same as the Aristocrat was from Gamma. I think this is the same from this. It's either the Obsidian or the Embargo, which is the worst one that we could get, I think, from Shattered Web. So 0.06996, so just into Factory New there. Um, it's a pretty cool skin, to be honest, the Bison. I never noticed the lady on the back until somebody pointed it out to me once, like having looked at this a million times. It took me ages to actually realise that that was there, and I had to have it pointed out to me. But yeah, it is quite a cool skin i don't actually mind it. i used to think it was really really rubbish but it has actually grown on me as time's gone on but still not a profit that's the second one now that we've had as a loss outcome so we really do want to turn these around going forward for the rest of them so the third trade up today and this is a very similar principle to the previous one as it's another one factory new and nine minimal wear split but this time we've got the one breakout factory new skin like we had before and then another breakout skin this time in minimal wear We've then got six skins from the Shattered Web collection and then two skins from the Broken Fang collection and those are all in minimal wear. This gives us slightly better profitability for the trade up from the one before without losing too much from the odds as Breakout only has the four outcomes as opposed to five from the other collections. Keeping the average float below 0.07 for all of the outcomes in Factory New, can we find one of the trio that we want? Here goes. Hey, nice, Org Arctic Wolf. So that is one of the outcomes that we wanted and that does give us a profit. I think it's like two pounds or so for the Org Arctic Wolf. So that's pretty cool. It does come in factory new, there you go. Um, really nice Org skin, honestly, and 0.0489 float. So yeah, nice, very, very good hit. That's the first profit one of the video after three trade ups. So a little bit longer than I would have liked to have actually hit a profit, but still that's pretty solid. So hopefully we'll be able to continue with that vein for the rest of them, but yeah, definitely Definitely a nice hit for that third one. Okay, and now we're going to try one with just Shattered Web and Broken Fang. 
And for this, we've got two skins from Broken Fang, which are in Factory New, which are the two P90 Coco Rampages, and then all the other eight skins that we're going to use for the trade upper in Minimal Wear. We've got a few more of those from Broken Fang. I think it's another four from Broken Fang. And then we've got four from Shattered Web, and those are all in Minimal Wear as well. So it's a two Factory New and eight Minimal Wear split. We have below 0 0.07 average float again for all factory new outcomes, and we do get a nice profitability here, with the big profit potential on the factory new AK, Org, and the AWP, and none of the fail outcomes will really lose as much. The UMP or the Jewelies from Broken Fang would probably be the worst things to get, around 50p or so loss. There's a 28% chance at nice profit here, but can we find it? Here we go. Ah, the Obsidian. So it's not like a huge loss. I think it's like 30p or something. But I think that's probably the worst outcome from Shattered Web or one of. It's that or the Embargo, uh, the Bison. I can't exactly remember. But yeah, that is one of the little loss outcomes there. 0 0.06991. So just into FN. But it's called P2000. But um, yeah, as a general rule, and people always seem to slate me in the comments for this, but generally I find that people use the UMP more than the P2000. So the UMP skins generally seem to have better value, unless it's like an ocean foam P2000 or something. But yeah, still not the greatest. Hopefully we can get a bit of better luck now with the kind of bigger ones that we're moving into towards the end of the video. Alright, now it's time for the last mil spec to restricted normal trade-up that we're going to do for the video, and it's probably one of the biggest profit and profitability trade-ups that I've ever done. It's a really cheap trade-up as well, but this is one factory new breakout skin and nine minimal wear broken fang skins, staying below 0.07 average float. Now this gets us over 90% chance to profit on the trade up, which is kind of crazy. So we've got that UMP and then I'll load up all the rest of this and I'll show you guys the picture for this. Uh, there we go, so you can have a little look at it. As I said, it's nearly night was well, over 90% chance to profit on the trade up and nearly 60% return, which is honestly kind of nuts. Every broken fang outcome is profit. Of course, we want to hit the exoskeleton from that lot, but all the rest will still be decent as well. If we hit the 8% or whatever it is of breakout, then that really is just harsh. So here's to hoping that we do see Broken Fang from this trade up. Here we go. Okay, cool. Parallax. That's fine. That does net as a profit. It's not the big profit sniper that we wanted, which was obviously the Orp Exoskeleton. But that's still cool, man. Getting the Parallax is still a nice outcome. Um, is in factory new, so that's always good. Kind of a headache to look at a little bit. Um, 0 0.698. 0 0.0698, sorry. So yeah, there we go. Not a bad one to get. I think that's about 60p or something profit from the trade-up. So only a small one. Would have been better if we could have got the XO. But still, you can't go too far wrong. If you can find the floats for that on the market, you've got like that 8% chance to hit breakout and make a loss on the trade-up. But aside from that, if you can find some really nice float um, minimal wear skins from Broken Fang, then yeah, you can just jam that together and all the broken fang stuff when in factory new should come out as profits so yeah pretty decent trade up and uh yeah big fan of that one so let's see what we get from the last couple trade ups that we've got for the video now onwards into number six for this video and we're going to do a stat track attempt for this we've got two factory new skins we've got one of them from breakout and one of them from horizon and then we've got two further skins from breakout in minimal wear which are that and that and then we've got four skins from shattered web in minimal wear that's those ones and then finally two of them from broken fang so this gives us quite a big mix of potential outcomes as you can see from the picture we get some really nice profit if we can hit that AK-47 rat rod in Factory New, which gives us like over £16 profit. But we also make money if we hit the Orc Paw, the Org Arctic Wolf, the MP7 Neon Ply, the P2000 Obsidian, the Orp Exoskeleton and the SG Parallax. So we do have quite a few outcomes which would be decent to hit on this. It's a 44% or so chance to profit, and it would be great if we can hit the AK or the Exoskeleton. Let's see some big profit here, please. Here, come on. Ah, the clear polymer. Not fantastic. It's okay. I mean, it's not like it's a big loss or anything. I think it's less than a pound, considering the trade-up was like six pounds something if you were to buy it all at market prices. Um, it's not too much of a loss, but yeah, not fantastic in terms of actually getting a profit hit on it. It is in factory new, and 
that is 0.0698 so it's just into factory new again getting like the ump or something for me would probably be better from that because it comes with a better float in factory new so it would kind of be more usable going forward maybe for another trade up but still that's what we've got the stat track nova clear polymer so yeah that's probably going to be one to sell to be honest with that float not really something that you'd probably want to use again for another trade up so not the greatest of outcomes that's all the cheap and profitable ones which we've got for today anyway like the cheaper end ones with like the bigger profitability numbers but we do have one final big risky one to try so let's see how we get on with that so this is the risky one which I planned. Um, this is a restricted to classified trade up and it's a mix of breakout and phoenix. We're looking to find ourselves a minimal wear AK-47 redline from this trade up and get some huge profit in the process. We have a 0.0825 average float for this which is just pulling the red line into minimal wear and it's best to try these attempts with something like spectrum or breakout where you can still get a bunch of factory new outcomes without needing the 0.07 average if you don't get the red line we get a 10 percent chance here that's with using three phoenix skins for the trade-ups we've got one usp guardian and field tested one in minimal wear and then we also have a MAC-10 Heat, which is in field tested. And then the other skins that we're going to use for this are all from Breakout. Two of these are in minimal wear, and then the other five of them are all in factory new. I've just got to make sure that I actually select the right things for this. Novas, Supernovas. Uh, yep, yeah, we're all good. That is it. All set. I <laughs> just wanted to make sure I wasn't putting any of the other outcomes that we got from the other trade-ups into it. So the Glock is only a small loss if we hit that. It's all right. And the Deagle, the P90 and the Nova all lose about half the cost of the trade-up. The thing we don't want, as usual, is that 5-7 foul play. That will come with the same float as our average and that can just go back into another trade-up if that's what we hit. So here we go. This is 10% and a dream. Can we get the big look at the end and pull the AK-47 red line in minimal wear? Come on. Ah, Deagle Conspiracy. So it's not like the worst outcome. It's not the Glock, which would have been like the best fail outcome, I guess, if we were going to get one of the breakout skins. We get the Deagle. At least it wasn't the 5.7. So that comes with quite a good average float. Uh, quite a good float, I think. 0 0.02 something. Yeah, 0 0.024. So it's a pretty nice factory new one, the Deagle Conspiracy there. But it's just not what we wanted, obviously. We really, really wanted that red line. And I think that loses us around £5. So, like, just under half the cost of the trade-up when we sell that. So, yeah, not too awful, I suppose. But, yeah, also not the best look. <laughs> and I was really hoping that, yeah, we were going to end up getting the AK-47 in minimal wear. But not to be, unfortunately. So there we go, my dudes. That's all of them for today. But we will be back with more videos trading up Zippo skins as there's absolutely loads to get through. And you can also come check out my streams where we'll be blasting through some of these as well. A big thank you to Zippo again for letting me do them. And thank you all so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.